Hey, what's up, everyone? It is TechWares. Today is November 2nd, 2025. I hope everyone's having a good day and your five senses are working. I want to talk about the Intel Arc B770, if Intel decides to call it that. And it is based on the BMG G31 GPU. B Series Battle Mage. Is it still happening? I, I believe so. I think it is. This article from Video Cards reports on the news that somebody pretty much leaked via X that BMG G31 really exists. All right, and it seems to be. It it seems it has three Pro versions. As you can see, the Intel Arc Pro, and one consumer version. XE graphics. That should be the one that is B770 or whatever Intel decides to call it. This was from the uh, Engineering Drivers INF. It also included Nova Lake and Nova Lake S. So we know that it is still coming. When will it come? This quarter is when I believe it will come. Uh, today, of course, we're uh, in November. Um, so early, early November, of course, second day of November. So this month or the next one or December, unless Intel decides to push it back all the way to Q1, early Q1 of 2025, sorry, 2026, um, maybe something at CES 2025, we have to wait and see, but I honestly believe that it will release within this month or next so that's that also it's actually a good thing that intel did not release that many gpus based on uh, battle mage the b series uh, as you know or as you don't know intel arc a series had different um configurations different SKUs. They had a total of four or five PCIe desktop cards, like the ones that slot into your uh, desktop. So they had the A380, the A580, the A750, the A770, and the A770 had two versions. It had the 8 gig version, and it also had the 16 gig version. So in total, really, they had five different PCIe cards. And not only that, but they also had discrete mobile GPUs. So with the Intel Arc A series, they had a bunch of GPUs. Okay? So this is not this this wasn't really a good thing. It wasn't positive because it means that Intel uh, bled a lot of money. Uh, the fewer fewer SKUs means fewer PCB designs, fewer cooler variations, and just simpler logistics. Um, it also means a higher higher mass costs, more validation, more uh, wafer diversity. So it was just it was just kind of like a shotgun approach. Like, hey, let's do everything. Let's let's release a ladder. Um, of uh, SKUs similar to what NVIDIA and AMD does even though that was their first gen so that wasn't really a good thing um, but with the B series right there's two GPUs there's, well actually one GPU but just I guess been different like just right so just like just one die with the, the B series had one die Right, and it would just bend into two SKUs. Right, that you had the B, um, B five seventy, and then you had the B five eighty, and that's it. Two PCIe desktop cards. So that was a good thing. Um, lower mass costs, better yield, uh, salvage, and simpler logistics. So, Intel really did save money by only releasing two B series desktop GPUs. 
the savings came from, like I said, um, fewer mass sets at TSMC. That probably saved them like tens of millions of dollars. Uh, better wafer uh, utilization. By binning one die into, two, in, into multiple SKUs, you, you, they, they save money that way. It reduced the packaging and the validation overhead. With just fewer products, right? Fewer product lines. So this was so this was a pragmatic move, um, it, it, because Intel still has to prove itself in the GPU market. So focusing on one efficient die rather than spreading resources across a full stack, like Nvidia and, and, and AMD do, it keeps costs under control. So it really made sense, and that's what I think Intel is going to be doing going forward. At least for now. For example, the C series, the Intel Arc C series uh, GPUs that are will be coming after Battle Mage, after the B series. Um, we know that they're based on the XE3P IP architecture IP, graphics architecture IP, and I think it, Intel might take a similar approach to the B series GPU launch. Um, I think it's going to be cost saving and just just a cautious rollout. And I think it will be the, probably the same thing. It'll be one die, maybe two SKUs, maybe a C580 and a, F and a C570, right? The C series. So that's going to that's going to be great. We're we're going to get the C series, but I think in the future, with Druid, or uh, the the D series, I think that is when Intel is going to be really um balancing their you know their their rationale right. I think with the with the D series is I think when they're going to have broader coverage, but this but they're still going to be um like uh cost aware right. Maybe they're going to have two to three dies with three to four SKUs, similar to the, the, the A series, the Alchemist. So that's really just my analysis and just what I think from just doing a lot of research um, and just reading everything regarding Intel Arc because I think it's very interesting. I think what Intel is doing with Intel Arc is far more interesting. Um, just from an enthusiast standpoint, than what AMD is doing with Radeon and what NVIDIA is doing with GeForce. All of us already know what NVIDIA is going to do, right? We all know what NVIDIA is going to do. Uh, AMD just follows what NVIDIA does. I mean, think about it. When, when was the last time that um, AMD actually led or did anything like Innovative when it comes to uh, Radeon GPUs. It's going to be really hard for you to think for, uh, about something and that, that is pretty much recent. But AMD just kind of follows NVIDIA. But Intel is the new player on the block. So whatever they do is going to be interesting. So that's it for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you guys going to be waiting for the B770? I am. I'm really excited for it. And yeah, going forward, I think C-Series is going to have a similar rollout to the B-Series. One die, two GPUs, two SKUs, and based on XE3P, which is going to be pretty interesting. Um, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. It's TechWares. Take care, everyone. Peace.